What's going on guys? Product Pros back at you and got a real fun one here today. The ever so popular Attack Force 705. This is the police version. You know, I believe we've done the gold before. We've done the rainbow before. So I went ahead, got one of the police ones. See if there's any differences. I think the only thing on there is, you know, you got the police sign on there right there. But this is a sweet knife, guys. Let's go ahead and dive on into the review. <laughs> One thing that I really like about these knives is the design. Everything about it is just got, it's loaded, it's got everything you could ask for, you know, besides the seatbelt cutter, but other than that, this thing is loaded. And one thing that I do really like is that trigger. Super, super fast trigger on the thing. Even better, it's got this little hole right here in the blade itself, almost kind of a little thumb assist hole. I like it better than the trigger, actually. Super fast, super simple. Show it even down right here in the close-ups. All right, as you can see, there's a little cutout at the top of the blade right there, and it, you can use your thumb to push or slide it out almost, kind of like thumb studs but not thumb studs just quite. So, got your thumb right here. All you gotta do, oop, missed it that time. Super simple, super fast. I like it better than the trigger. Next, this blade right here. Super, super nice, guys. Show you sure what I mean. Got your drop point blade, black's oxidation on the blade as well. Super nice, sleek look. Half serration, and you've got half your straight blade right there. Definitely more of a tactical knife, as you can see. Definitely has that tactical look. So one thing I'm kind of interested in, you know, usually these 705s have really, really sharp blades on them straight out of the package. So let's go ahead and see real quick before we... Eh, this one's not doing as well. Let's go ahead and test out and see just how this thing does on some paper. All right, guys, let's go ahead and test out the sharpness of this blade. Going to get a piece of paper right here. Product Pro's been holding it. So let's see. On the cut down. All right, lots of ripping. Let's try that one more time. Definitely not the sharpest blade. Try that again. Eh, it seemed to rip at first, but then it kind of did pretty good. Let's go ahead and test this point out. Being that it is a drop point, I'm not predicting a super sharp point. Let's see how bad the push is on this one. So, uh, this one's actually not nearly as bad as some of the other tag forces. Not bad at all. Very little push. The cut down, yeah, as you can see, it just catches at certain spots. It's like almost like there's certain spots in the blade where it's going to catch. That one was a lot better. So, it's kind of hit or miss for this blade. Alrighty, so for a cheaper knife like this, it's got actually a pretty good blade on there, you know, pretty decent about average for, you know, tack force. So that's not too bad at all. Go ahead and move on to the handle right here. Really did a good job in the detail work. Give you guys a quick little close up and show you what I mean. All right, so right off the bat, you got your aluminum handle. And they kind of cut this thing out, made it kind of look almost, you know, kind of futuristic. I like it a lot. This side is definitely different from this side, and I'll show you why they did that. So as you can see, the liner lock extends all the way up right here, so they kind of cut out this piece of the handle so you've got easier access to that liner lock. So it is super simple to open and close, guys. The one-handed open and close, no problem whatsoever. Use that little thumb groove right there, one-handed open and close, super simple. That is one thing I do really like about these 705s from TAC Force is that cut out at the top, or at the, rather the bottom, kind of got that groove right there to give you easier access to that liner lock. Moving around, you got your jippings at the top right here. Really nice, good grip for your thumb. The jippings on this thing are actually really nice, super comfortable. Definitely get that good cutting action right there. You know, definitely, let's see, from a defensive standpoint, yeah, got a good defensive standpoint grip on there too. Not a problem whatsoever. Let's see where else we're looking at. As you can see on this side, it's almost kind of got these little squares cut out, kind of extending out of the blade, or not the blade, the handle itself gives you really, really good grip right there. You've got your bottle opener on the back, but the only downside to this bottle opener is the knife has to be open. So you gotta be careful when you're opening up. You know, you got a beer or something like that. It's easier to open up like that. You can't open it up right there. You almost, nope, you're good right there. But you definitely can't open it up right there. You're gonna have to open it on up to open up that can. And last, or not last, but not least, but we got the screwdriver slash or glass breaker on the back. It serves both purposes. We'll go ahead and get a board in here in just a little bit. Go ahead and test out, show you just how well the screwdriver does on this knife. And last but not least, I'll flip it to the back right here, show you right there. You've got your belt clip. And these things are actually really beefy, as you can see. They got a lot of bolts holding them in place on the top of the knife. The only thing I don't like about it, though, is how low sitting is on the knife. As you can see, you got about half an inch of the uh, knife sticking out above that pocket clips. I'll show you what I mean in just a second, so let's go ahead and check it out and see how this thing feels and looks in the pocket. All right, let's go ahead and slide it in and see what we're dealing with. Slides in really easily. You know, I don't like, especially with these 705s, how high or how low the belt clip or the pocket clip is positioned on the knife. You know, they have it up at the top, 
but it really starts a good half inch below the top of the knife, so that's kind of a downfall. It does slide in really easily though, almost too easily. Let's try that out one more time. Yeah, it's really pretty beefy whenever you do it like that, but being that there's no arch in the thing, which is usually nice because those arches on the, on the belt clips fray up your pockets. But that's actually, besides the fact that it's positioned really low, it's not a problem at all. You know, slide it out really nicely and the trigger's right there and you're good to go. I wish the knife wasn't as low setting as it is, you know, for a tactical knife, the concealability on it was not good whatsoever. There, you definitely could see some of that knife sticking out. But the one thing I do like about it is the weight on it. You know, they have lots of cutouts. They definitely cut out weight where they could, even up here in the blade, down there in the handle. Really did a good job. So it's a pretty lightweight knife. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Let's go ahead, grab the weight, grab the scale, or not grab the weight, grab the scale, grab that ruler, see what we're looking at on that size. Really nice size on the knife, actually. You know, just a perfect sized pocket knife. Definitely a great EDC. Let's go ahead, check it out, and see what we're dealing with. All right, being that they cut out a bunch of that aluminum in the handle to kind of cut that weight, I'm predicting a pretty lightweight knife. Let's see what we're dealing with. 4.3 ounces, that's actually pretty good, a little below average. I'm guessing it's around an eight inch knife. Let's see, with that glass breaker, we're gonna be looking at, yep, eight inches on the dot, maybe a tad above eight and a quarter. Length of the blade, starting from the actual serration, is gonna be three and a quarter. You got about an inch of serration and you've got about two inches of actual blade. So that's pretty good. You know, usually they try to go half and half, but I like that little bit of extra of that straight blade to get that good slicing in there because most of the time you really don't need that serration, but it is nice to have. So let's go closed up. You're gonna be dealing with about just shy of five inches, maybe between five and a quarter or three quarters and five inches. So really nice size knife right here, guys. 4.3 ounces is not bad at all for an eight inch knife. Really sweet little everyday carry here, guys. You know, the knife overall, this is the 705. This is the police version, I believe. If you guys wanna go check it out, I'll leave it down in the link below in the description. Super sweet knife, guys. Go over some of the pros and cons so far on this knife for me. Give you guys a quick little last close up. You know, I really don't have many cons. The only thing I wish, you know, for a tactical knife, I do wish that they had a seatbelt cutter, but they kind of incorporated that bottle opener into there. So, you know, not, not necessarily more of a tactical purpose on there, but it definitely has a nice little effect to it. You got the screwdriver slash glass breaker on the back, which is nice. I like how they incorporated those both into each other. Really easy access to that liner lock. I do like that a lot. So, and the look on it, you know, super sleek black. You got the police logo right there on the back, right there. That's good too. The grip on it, no problem whatsoever. And that <clears throat> trigger on there. Really nice, guys. I really do like also that little thumb hole at the top. You can use it to open it up. Super simple, super easy. I mean, everything about this knife, no complaints really. I do wish it did sit a little higher up in the pocket, or a little lower down in the pocket rather. You didn't have all that knife sticking out. A little better concealability. Could have been, you know, seen in this knife, but it's not a problem for me. Like I was saying, guys, this is the Attack Force 705 Police. Go ahead and check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and check us out on social media as well. Got that Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Check us out at Product Probes. We're following back the first 100 on Twitter and Instagram. So go ahead and check us out on there. And be sure to like and subscribe. We will see you on the next one.